2017 has had some really fantastic games this year, and although it may not be quite over yet, there are some stellar titles coming out in 2018, but which ones should be on your radar? Today we're going to be looking at 10 upcoming games to look forward to in 2018. These are of course just a small selection of games, there are plenty of others that I will briefly mention at the end of the video. To start we have Nino Kuni 2, a game that was originally due at the end of 2017 but pushed into 2018, thankfully not too far however, releasing on January 19th for the PS4 and PC. Studio Ghibli may not be involved this time around but that hasn't stopped the sequel from looking every bit as fantastic. The game is set hundreds of years after the first and has you play as Evan, a young king who has his throne taken from him and goes on a journey to try and reclaim his kingdom. In the first game you would battle with familiars, Pokemon like creatures you would catch and fight other enemy familiars you would come across in the world. Familiars aren't returning for Nino Kuni 2, instead each character will fight themselves in real time combat using weapons, magic and also Higgledies, spirits of heart that can be used in battle in various ways. You can expect a long story mode that will take roughly 50 hours to beat, along with your usual JRPG side missions to extend that even further. If you enjoy even the occasional RPG, Nino Kuni 2 is definitely one to look out for. The next is a game that was quite a surprise at E3 2017. Monster Hunter World is a new game in the long running Monster Hunter series and releases on the PS4 and Xbox One on January 26th and sometime later for the PC. The game essentially surrounds tasking you with taking down or capturing large monsters and do so solo or with a group of others which is definitely one of the ways you'll want to play the game to get the most out of it. Co-op is now drop in and drop out making it easier than ever to hunt with your friends. With Monster Hunter World there is now completely seamless travel between zones unlike previous games where you would sit through a loading screen between each one. In the game you'll build your skills, acquire better equipment and weapons through crafting items you get by defeating monsters in order to defeat tougher ones. It's been quite a while since a completely new Monster Hunter game released for home consoles so if you're a fan of this series there's a lot to be excited about. The third game is Far Cry 5 that releases on February 27th on the PS4, Xbox One and PC. Far Cry 5 is set in a fictional place of Hope County in the state of Montana. Like Vass from 3 and Pagan Ming from 4, 5 will feature a new unstable megalomaniac antagonist, this time called Joseph Seed who is the leader of Hope County. You play as a sheriff deputy who is part of the task force trying to arrest Joseph Seed. New to the series you have the ability to create your protagonist this time around how you like, changing their appearance, skin tone and even gender. When it comes to the weapons there will be a lot more melee weapons present than previous games and all with an emphasis on their use, although there will still be a wide variety of guns and explosives. You can recruit people to fight with you to help your cause and coming over from Far Cry Primal you can also tame wild animals. If you enjoyed the previous games in the series you'll likely find there will be a lot to like here and with a completely new location to explore I personally cannot wait to play. In 2018 the next God of War game is set to move the series in a new direction. No longer set in Greek mythology, Kratos will tackle enemies from Norse mythology. Kratos is accompanied by his son Atreus and the story will heavily feature the dynamic between the two, giving an insight into a more human, nurturing Kratos than in previous games. With his more mature persona, Kratos has a slightly older appearance and beard to match. He also no longer wills his iconic blades of chaos but instead a new weapon, a battle axe. However much like in previous titles, he'll acquire more over the course of the game. One of these is a shield that can be used offensively and defensively. From what we've seen, God of War will put even more emphasis on story and cinematic moments although the developers have said it will be more open along with some changes to quick time events that are a staple of the series. The new title attempts to change up the arguably tired formula of the older games and breathe new life into the series and so far things appear to be shaping up well. Days Gone is another big game hitting the PS4 next year from Ben Studio who worked on Alexa Siphon Filter and the PS Vita game Uncharted Golden Abyss. Days Gone is an action adventure survival horror that you'd be forgiven for seeing similarities with Sony's other series The Last of Us. You take control of Deacon, a biker and bounty hunter during a post apocalyptic world. There will be many occasions you will be faced with literally hordes of zombies or as they are called in Days Gone, Freakers. The game features a day and night cycle and Freakers will react differently depending on the time of day, slower and weaker in the day, faster and tougher during night. Being an open world game there will be numerous ways you can tackle missions, from taking a stealthy approach to an all out aggressive one. Days Gone is one of the PS4's biggest exclusives next year and one Sony is using to showcase what the PS4 Pro is capable of. There have been many, many Spider-Man games released over the decades, but extremely few that have been good or actually made you feel like Spider-Man himself, with a new Spider-Man game releasing sometime in the first or second quarter of next year, but a very capable team at Insomniac, who are most well known for their work on the original Spyro titles and the Ratchet & Clank games, the IP could be in no better hands. Originally announced during E3 2016 with a short teaser, it wouldn't be till E3 of this year we would get to see any gameplay, but it certainly didn't disappoint. The graphics looked incredible with seemingly decent web slinging and combat that's reminiscent of the fantastic Batman Arkham games. 
The game isn't tied to any of the films or cartoons, so they have free reign to build the Spider-Man story they want to. Peter Parker is 23 years old and has been Spider-Man for 8 years, so we won't have to see another origin story we all know very well by now. One of the villains we know will feature in the game is Mr. Negative, but we will no doubt see plenty more. Spider-Man is going to be one of the big AAA games of next year and hopefully is as good as it looks at the moment. A sequel to Red Dead Redemption will finally be coming sometime around the second quarter of next year with a PS4 and Xbox One. If you played the first game that released back in 2010, you'll know exactly why you should be excited for a sequel and with Rockstar's track record of developing amazing open world games, I have little doubt this one will be just as good. So far we haven't seen much of the game aside from a couple of trailers, we do know it will be a prequel and you'll be playing as Arthur Morgan who is a member of Dutch's gang, which John Marston from the first game was briefly a part of. Rockstar are always known for creating graphically stunning games and this time is no different, as it looks to be one of the most impressive this console generation. Red Dead Redemption 2 is likely to be the biggest AAA game of the year and not one you'll want to miss. It's been a long wait for Kingdom Hearts 3 with 2 releasing back in 2006 and fans have been clamouring for a third main sequel ever since. Thankfully it looks like we may finally be getting it next year, with Square Enix confirming a 2018 release date. There's no set period for when next year, but it's likely to be around October or November would be my best guess. Considering the already long wait, there's potential for the game to be delayed, but I'm cautiously optimistic it'll hit the release date given. Kingdom Hearts 3 follows Sora, Donald and Goofy as they venture to various Disney worlds, as well as original locations, in an adventure to finally defeat the main antagonist, Xehanort, once and for all. The gameplay shown so far leaves good impressions, giving us some insight into new worlds like Toy Story, with others like Big Hero 6 confirmed to be making an appearance, and demonstration of abilities where Sora's Keyblade can transform into various different weapons, like guns and a cannon, to name just a couple. The next is Detroit Become Human, a PS4 exclusive that began as a simple tech demo and is developed by Quantic Dream who created Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls. Much like Heavy Rain, the game is extremely story focused where your actions and choices will shape the narrative with the potential of any character dying based on your decisions. The plot surrounds three androids, Kara who escapes the confines of the factory she was created in and exploring her newfound freedom in the real world. Connor whose job it is to bring down non-conformist androids, and finally Marcus who's attempting to do the opposite and free those who he sees as enslaved. With a script that took director David Cage more than two years to write and more branching paths than their previous games, this could be Quantic Dream's most remarkable to date. Last is a game that was unveiled recently called Biomutant by a new studio called Experiment 101 that is comprised of former Just Cause developers and has a release date of sometime next year. It still looks relatively early into development, so hopefully it isn't delayed, but what's been shown so far looks really promising and could be a sleeper hit. Biomutant is an action role playing game set in an open world. You play as a raccoon like creature that you'll be able to adjust the appearance of in a variety of ways in a post apocalyptic world, except not in quite the same way as, say, Days Gone. A natural disaster has hit the world of Biomutant, bringing poisonous oil to the surface and affecting the tree of life that, as the name suggests, gives life to the world. There is a karma system in the game that, depending on your actions, will affect how the story pans out. There are six different tribes that you can either choose to join or destroy that will have future repercussions on the story. For a game that's currently pre-alpha, it already looks like it has potential for a great game and one to keep on your radar for next year. Before I end the video, there are plenty of other games slated to release next year that also look incredible that I thought I would mention, such as Dragon Ball Fighters, Darksiders 3, Sea of Thieves, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, Anthem, Crackdown 3, The Wolf Among Us 2, a Way Out and a Shadow of Colossus remake. Which game of 2018 are you most looking forward to? Are there any I didn't mention? Let me know down in the comments. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, drop a like and sub if you want to see more content just like this. Hit the thumbnail on the left or right for another of my videos. Thanks for watching as usual and I'll see you next time for an episode of Gaming Origins.